Risks are all around us, and while we can't eliminate them, we can learn to understand and manage them. Risk is best understood as frequency times consequence, meaning the more often you do something that can end up really bad, the higher the risk. Managing risk is all about understanding threats. Take driving in bad weather. The more often you drive while ignoring bad weather, the higher your risk. Now multiply the number of times you drive by the consequences. Skidding on wet roads, getting stuck during flooding, damage to your car, or worst case, getting washed away in a flood. So, what can we manage? Poor maintenance, tires and wiper blades, carelessness, driving too fast, lack of information, weather reports, flood warnings. How you manage these threats directly affects your risk level. That's true. If the forecast calls for thunderstorms and I have to drive, I listen to the traffic reports to know which roads are affected. Why chance it if the road conditions are dangerous? No. When I decide to drive, I take my time and keep my distance. But if there are any reports of roads flooding, that means no driving, period. It's just a little rain, and I'm a really good driver. Plus, the worse the storm, the less traffic on the road. Roads flood. I've never had any trouble getting my car through a flooded street before. Why fix something that isn't broken? If I have somewhere to be, the weather isn't going to stop me. I pay attention to the weather and traffic reports, and I judge the visibility for myself. I know I need to drive carefully and always be prepared to turn around or pull over if the road conditions get really bad. If I know my trip takes me through any roads or areas that usually flood during a storm, I'll wait it out. I'd rather be a little late than take the chance of ruining my car or worse. Let's say you live in a flood zone. Your town needs to decide how to manage the risk by building levees. The community has to meet to decide how much of their taxes should be allocated to flooding precautions. Do they prepare for the infrequent worst case or for the more common scenario? The stronger levees would withstand the bigger storms, but will cost a lot more to build. I love my home and I know I'm in a flood zone. My home and my family are worth protecting. I vote for building the strongest levees that would protect our community from the strongest storms. It's expensive, but why take the chance of a disaster? Come on, we shouldn't be wasting money on rebuilding the levees. We haven't had any major problems for years. What's a little water in the basement? It'll dry out. I own a wet vac. Save the tax money for something important. I totally agree that we should look at what happened in the past. What are the consequences of a flood and how likely is a bad one? I'd rather not take chances. We should take a look at the existing levees and then decide how to make the repairs and updates. Nature can be brutal. We can't eliminate the risks, that's not life. But we can reduce our risk levels by understanding the threats and managing them. Risk, not chance. This message is brought to you by the United Engineering Foundation and these contributing partners.